there can be too much of a good thing, especially with oil. When countries discover oil, they risk catching the resource curse. Some call it Dutch disease. Dutch disease refers to an economic slump in Holland that followed large oil discoveries in the North Sea. Soon after exploitation began, the value of Holland's national currency appreciated. This undermined exports. Less exports meant less manufacturing, more unemployment, just as the oil sector expanded. Dutch economic numbers did well. Dutch people, not so well. But that's not quite what happened. Like every buzzword, there is more to it. At a deeper level, it all happened because of an imbalance in the structure of the economy. An economy is built on three interconnected factors, land, labor, and capital. Land contains water, energy, and resources. Labor is manpower and skills. It includes the families and communities that support it. Capital is equipment, tools, infrastructure, and any currency that can pay for them. Each one of those factors has its own constraints. Any economic activity is a balancing act. When any of those factors vary, the others adjust, and the economy remains balanced. We can visualize this linkage in a simple plot, for example between labor and land. Each factor has its own sets of constraints, shown here as lines. Those lines intersect to form a boundary of possibilities. Within it, economic activity is possible. In farming, land constrains economic output. If it has no water, you cannot farm it, no matter how much capital you spend, or how many laborers you employ. With petroleum, the balance shifts too rapidly. Petroleum is so rich in energy that it shifts the land factor too fast, faster than capital and labor can adjust. The domain of the possible shrinks. This is what happened in Holland, when the domain of the possible shrank, the imbalance showed up as an increase in the value of the currency, and a decrease in exports and employment. So, the resource curse is not a bug. It is a feature of economic activity. It shows that an economy is never in a steady state. An economy is a dynamic balancing of labor, land, and capital. So, there is never, really, too much of a good thing. There is too much of a good thing happening too fast. Thank you for your two minutes. For a deeper dive, you can find George's book, Planet A, on Amazon. See you in the next one.